It is Brayden on Double Duties. What's got you excited at the movies this week? Well, what's got me excited is Vermillion. I know you had Jennifer Ward Leland on yeah. the show last week. And the reason I'm excited about this Kiwi movie is I think it's a real sort of coming of age. We're able to laugh at ourselves very, very easily. Um, and Kiwi music movies have always kind of had a look. I might I'll be stepping on some toes here. But this is the first time I've really seen something and gone, wow, that looks lavish. It looks expensive. Yeah. And it's a beautiful kind of well thought out story. So obviously the central central character played by Jennifer is um, synesthesiac, I think is how you say it. I can never quite get we, my tongue around it. We were having a practice it. on that last yeah. week with Jennifer. Yeah. <laughs> so um, as you know, this, this is when two senses merge. And for her, it's essentially a hearing and, and being able to see colours. Um, she is a composer, but her normally muted kind of colours start to change and within that she sees the colour vermilion, which signals for her that some things may not be going on. It's a real look at women's relationships set in Auckland suburb of Grey Lynn. Mm. So let's have a wee look at this clip. Tell me something about yourself, Darcy. I'm seeing different colours with different notes. It's all changing. Basically, confirm the diagnosis. What have you been thinking about? People. Turns out I haven't loved that many. What have you been doing to Zoe? I don't mean to annoy her, it just happens. Darcy! <gasps> Sorry. Frank and I are getting married. Yeah. Why? I used to love being in here when I was a kid. I can't remember that. Because you're away, so Sina let me make it my room. I would like to propose a toast. Zoe and Ray. Just when I need to think, all the people I love need me. And I think what I particularly like, and I know that Jennifer said this to, to you and Mike, was it would be very easy when someone sees colour to, to go into some sort of great crazy sequence, yeah. and they haven't done that. It's, it's really subtle. Tasteful. I really enjoyed it. It's nice. Beautiful yeah. soundtrack too. Really beautiful soundtrack. Absolutely. And she was playing the piano too, which I love. So that, that would be my pick actually for this weekend. Um, another one which is a really good one, and it's timely too for the commemoration of Armistice, is this film called Journey's End. Now, again, this is a look at relationships. It's a look at the kind of the struggles that, that families were going through um, in war because what we have is someone who really looked up to someone else um, going to war kind of because of that role model thing. Um, Journey's End was a play written, I think, in, the, in 1930. There have been various different film, stage and television versions of this, but this has actually in some ways been commissioned to help with the Armistice commemorations. It's got Sam Claflin in it, who some people will remember from Hunger Games. Mm -hmm. I go, uh, me before you. The, and adrift. Uh, and, uh, exactly. So very accomplished actor in this one, um, with some pretty deep struggles going on there, as men who went to war had. So have a wee look. What is it you're after? An old friend is out here, Captain Stannon. If you don't want to join them, they may have a hell of a time of it. That's just what I'm hoping for, sir. I don't want to see how shot I am. We won't last five minutes if the Germans attack. You'll stay where you are for as long as you can. I can't stick it any longer. You think there's no limit to what a man can bear? There is a job to be done, my darling. I mean to come through this. It's the only thing a decent man can do. Ooh. I think it would be fair to say this is not a war film, it's a film about war, so you don't have to like that sort of stuff. It's It's got enough story around it as well. And um, last but certainly not least, Claire Foy and this latest kind of, they're calling it a soft mm. reboot mm. of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I've, I confess I've never really been into the others. I love them and I love the Swedish ones. Yeah, exactly. So, But I loved this clip of Claire very much getting her revenge against a rather naughty man. Who the hell are you? I'm a fan of yours. The CEO who beat up two prostitutes, but then got acquitted in court yesterday. 
Let's get me down. I'm transferring 20% of your cash to these two girls. I'm calling down to security. The rest, I'm transferring to your wife. Account number. Don't. If I have one line, what to? Take your child and leave. He won't hurt you again. Mr. Chen has bankrolled your company for years. Isn't this his wife? You bitch! You try to contact your wife again, or if anything unexpected should happen to her, this video will be sent to him. I think, if nothing else, it shows how versatile Claire Foy is. Oh, She's amazing. Yeah, she is amazing. So that might be the only reason to go and see this film. Oh, OK. Well, thank you very much, Brayden. Thank you, thank you.